We are just going to be going all out with our molded pieces these few weeks. Of course you saw us um, probably about last week. We got the side deck pieces brought in and Matt and I have been kind of like trimming them, getting them ready to fit. But before those can finally go in their place, what we want to do is get the four deck piece, which is gonna sit across here and then we'll see how they all piece together. And hopefully we have enough of that methacrylate bonding agent as well as warm days coming up next week because it is cold right now that we can actually get all of these things down. But regardless, we need that one in here to fit the deck sides. Hopefully we can get that bonded, at least dry fit. And if that all goes in well, hopefully we'll be putting the uh, cabin sides in as well, like the windows. And then she's really gonna start looking like a boat. So today is the day to have both the doors open, mostly because we are working on bulkhead one over on starboard side here. You can see that we've got port mostly in, but we want to take the four deck piece there and get it kind of up and over. So we're making space and we've brought in an extra set of hands. So what is the plan on how we're getting this up? Push really, really hard and fast. You're just shoulder pressing this thing? Yeah, I think so. It's not that heavy, actually. Justin and I carried it over pretty easy. Um, so, I, well, we'll go long ways yeah. and just get it up there. I think the same thing we did last time. Put a ladder, have someone else hold it, someone else run up there on deck, pull it up, and... And we'll see. After eight years of the nomadic life involving crossing oceans in a 34-foot saber, refitting an aluminum boat, and then taking that to the Arctic Circle, we're back at it again with a brand new build. This is Matt and I'm Jessica. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us every week as we start our newest project of building a 42-foot catamaran from the ground up. I'd like to take just a second to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is AG1 by Athletic Greens. And this little pineapple flavored concoction that I have in my hands here, which actually does taste pretty good, has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. Plus, it has been proven to fight fatigue, improve gut health, and increase energy levels. Now that the days are getting colder, I will admit it's getting much harder for Matt and I to get our butts out of bed every morning and go in that chilly tent to get work done, but I've been taking this for a few weeks now and I can definitely feel an improvement of my daily energy. I'm ready to go in the morning. I don't have that sluggish feeling in the afternoon. So by just having one of these every morning after my coffee, I am good to go. This company is constantly improving themselves. Right now they have just finished their 53rd iteration where they are constantly updating their formula based on new research. They're about to go into the 54th so they are dedicated to providing you with the best ingredients possible. So not only does AG1 provide all of that for you, but if you go to their website using our link in the description box below and make a purchase of their starter kit, you will automatically get five travel packets and a one-year supply of their vitamin D drops. So if you're looking to improve your gut health, increase energy, fight fatigue, then definitely go and check them out today. actually went a lot smoother than we thought. Both Tucker and I were on the ladders lifting it up. 
and my muscles aren't too strong, but my head is, luckily. And so once we got it to a spot that was over the lip, Matt went up and started pulling it in, and then we got it in place. So let me uh, show you what it looks like from the deck. Look how cool that looks now. So let me duck under this and give a better view. Where this sill is and runs kind of like all the way around out there, back and around there. That is where all of our windows are going to go so you can kind of get a feel for the inside space. So once we get everything enclosed, this will still be inside, so I can like set a little pot of plants there. Georgie's bed can be here right in the windows. And then of course you can see our different lockers up here on the floor deck. So the center one is going to be windless anchor stuff. We've got access to our water tanks down here plus extra storage. But yeah, look at her, she's looking like a boat. Days are definitely cooling off and we're outside of that Goldilocks zone now where uh, things were still warm enough to bond while keeping it cool enough for Matt and I to work all day long. And we're kind of below normal temperatures in the low 50s, so we do have our heating lamps. But one of the steps that we're working on today is getting the upper parts of the bulkheads attached to the whole side. Just with a um, little bit of thickened resin right now, we will go back later and fill it and glass those in. But as we do that, we can set the uh, bulkheads kind of like in their final positions in relation to the hole sides. And then that is going to set where the deck is going to be in its final position. You've seen us over the past few days making adjustments, kind of tweaking things. And after getting the four deck piece in last night, we kind of really know how it's all coming together. So, yep, we're gonna get the heat lamps on these. It's like the hottest part of the day right now. Let them sit for a few hours and um, keep working towards next week when it warms up to the 60s again and we can actually get these decks bonded down. <laughs> and the battle of getting out of tight spaces while keeping everything clean-ish. Got the heating lamp going in there. Look at this, the sun is out today. We've got a beautiful fall color change happening in all the trees around here. And the temperatures have warmed up enough that we can finally go ahead and bond those side decks that we've been working on for maybe a little over a week now. So I've got everything taped up. Matt has taken the acetone to clean it. And I think we're just gonna do one at a time because we may still need to put heating lamps on them just to make sure everything cures. So today we're gonna do port side and then kind of prep for starboard and do that tomorrow. But um, yeah, how fun is that? That we're gonna have decks that we can walk on now. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh -huh. Matt is cleaning out one of our old buckets of the old methacrylate that's still stuck on it. Give it a good wash and then we'll be ready to go. And you can see our side deck hanging like way up in the air to give good access. So that as I'm bagging up the methacrylate, Matt can start laying down a bead. We're getting good at this. We are. We're getting much better. We actually figured out the process, and I got a little bit better at my math. So, well, won't be like the transom. I guess I shouldn't say that yet. We'll see. Yeah, it's not done yet. <laughs>
And since this is just the two of us here now, um, because when we did the transom, we had Ryan and Bert. Um, I didn't show it when we did the cockpit seats, but, and yes, everybody, you are right, I listen to you now. I put the bag inside like a cup and then I scoop into that. So I've gotten much faster at the bagging. Hopefully I can get however many bags we're gonna need for five of them filled up and then I can join Matt and laying that bead down. And then hopefully we can get the deck in place. And since it has been cold, we've been storing this inside the heated bathrooms here at the marina, especially since it's basically just us living here now, so we can deal with the smell. And we put in a big, big bag to try and contain that, so we've got... And it's got a casket on it. And it's got a casket on it. And then also, way back here, we have the hardener, the catalyst, because we want to take that whole thing in too, so we just scoop some out into a fun little Folgers jar. And so hopefully that warmed it all up enough that it's gonna cure faster than if we had left it in the tent, which still stays uh, pretty cold overnight right now. Oh, and a quick rundown because Matt's gonna be starting this again while I'm down below bagging. So what the plan is going to be, is you can see we've got it very raised right now. And so Matt is going to be able to get inside the holes now and within different areas, sanding, kind of wherever he can. We'll get up and over and put the bead down all along the outer edge here. And of course, where it matches up to the cockpit seat, this should be easy access. Got the foredeck temporarily out of the way. Yeah, you can just see we've got like random kind of beams holding it up. So I think the plan is that we will lower that one, try and get the aft end in place first, and then come over here and slowly remove these, make sure everything kind of like shifts over, and just kind of hope that it all works out. Not a lot of like planning and lifting going into this one, like for other things like the whole sides and whatnot. <laughs> Catalyst is being added now, so this is where we normally start freaking out and say 40 minutes on the clock, but it's still kind of cool enough that I think we could probably get like an hour easily.
All right, so right now we are getting the aft section lined up, and then Matt's gonna go through and start putting these cleats, keeping it level all the way forward. Look at Matt, already getting ready for tomorrow's side. Hi. So Matt's already getting ready for tomorrow's side, but we do have one side adhered. Would you like to break down how it went? Yep. So I made way too much adhesive. Um, like an extra kilo. Like an extra kilo, so I was off by a third. We're getting good at this. We are, we're getting much better. We figured out the process and I got a little bit better at my math. So, well. Won't be like the transom. I, I guess I shouldn't say that yet, we'll see. No, it's not done yet. <laughs> this was a lot tighter tolerance through here. Um, so when it squeezed together, it, it took a, a lot of it extra, uh, a lot of the extra adhesive actually oozed out. And so we were able to scrape that off. Um, and then we put that in some other places that actually needed some anyway. But yeah, we ended up using probably an extra kilo. Um, lots of gooey mess squirting out everywhere. So we had to go through and clean all that up. And then it actually sat very fast. So we thought it was going to be probably longer than an hour that we'd had because of this temperature. We were actually probably under an hour for the work time, um, which was fine. But uh, we should have hurried faster because we were, we were taking full advantage thought of the hourglass. And I get mad at Boo Boo. When I was pulling out one of like the wooden uh, things I she, I jabbed. She stabbed me. I jabbed him with a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, so. so. But that's okay. It's success. Yep. It's adhered. Um, we'll go through. We're gonna, we're gonna prep this side, the other side, for tomorrow. And then probably tomorrow morning as we're waiting for that to cure, we'll pull off the cleats and everything on this side. Actually, before that, because we're gonna need those cleats. Yep. Yes, we are. And look, I'm walking on our new side deck. Japan. 